The energy is amazing. It is a buzz with the excitement as a film is back in person. Film Festival of Trinidad and Tobago has returned after a two-year digital presence and we couldn't be more excited. The categories, as always, are spectacular and the productions are incredulous. And tonight, I, Ayinka, will take you through the red carpet as we speak to some of the incredible attendees and nominees here tonight. Now, if you haven't heard, with the Film Festival being back, it means that you're able to see yourself. So, over the course of tonight, I'll tell you more about films that you can watch, ways that you can watch them, and what difference it can make with the impact of seeing yourself. Speaking of which, a gentleman who's going to join me on the carpet is making sure that we do exactly that. Mr. Mark, no stranger to the mic or production, making sure that we see the impact of Steel Pan with his productions and writing. Good night and welcome to the red carpet. Good night, good night, and thanks for having me. I must ask the frivolity of it all. How do you feel in this very moment? We talked extensively about why it's important to see ourselves, but to celebrate moments like these, how do you feel at this very point? Well, I would say in two ways. One is coming out from a COVID pandemic. It's good to meet and socialize and see people again. That's on one level. And I think on the other level, it is for the first time entering as a producer and being officially selected for the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival is an honor. And um, as you say, it's about telling people stories. It's about utilizing the talent in our industry and highlighting it locally and internationally. And I think this is a marvelous experience. I feel good. That's what I want to hear. I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of the experience as you carry on down the red carpet where you will continue conversations with the likes of Tracy J. Hutchinson from Filmco, making sure that we get more in-depth with our guests tonight to make sure that you, our viewers, are very much here with us. Well, at least virtually. This is the TTFF 2022. See yourself and enjoy. Hello, good afternoon. I am Tracy Hutchings, and you, we are here live at the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival. I get to talk to Mr. Mark Loquan, who is the producer of The Journey and Impact of Pan on the Move. I wanted to ask you, first of all, thank you for joining us tonight. And also, what, tell us a little bit about the film, like what exactly is the film really about? Thanks for having me, and good night, everyone. Uh, this film is about the first song that a panorama arranger ever did, composing himself, arranging it for panorama. This was done back in 1972. Remember, panorama started in 1963. Uh, this was done by a 28-year-old at the time called Ray Holman. And he decided, I want to say against the tide, that uh, instead of utilizing the existing Calypsonian music, Kitchener, Sparrow. That was mainly the, the in thing in those days. Everybody played Kitchener and Sparrow. But this young man uh, decided to say, well, no, I'm going to do my own tune. Back in 1972. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. And so this film is something that we will be able to see during the course of the festival over at one of our other locations and that kind of stuff. That's right. I mean, it's actually scheduled for... Saturday, Republic Day. Republic Day, which is a very good day to have this kind of film. It's Republic Day. It will be all about Trinidad and Tobago films. I think that is a really good day to have that. I wanted to ask you, what is the role of a producer for everyone out there? What is exactly the role of a producer when it comes to making films? Well, I would say there are a couple levels there. One is an executive producer like myself who says, well, I have an idea. I'd like to get this done. Um, and I'd like to tell this story. And then there's the other level of production, which is the actual producer that says, let's get all the material, interviews, put everything together, edit it, and just make sure there's something at the end to show and tell the story in a proper way. That is full credit to the director producer is Jarrell Forbes. Yes. Well, Mr. Loquan, I wanted to thank you very much for taking a little time. I know there's like a lot of schmoozing and there's a lot of drinks and stuff that's going to be happening. Thank you very much for being with us tonight. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for having me. Joining us now is the amazing Mr. Bruce Paddington. He has been a stalwart of 
Caribbean film, of Trinidad film. He is a member of Film Co. Is that right? Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Tell everybody a little bit about, um, about you and in terms of coming back out live on a film festival after two years of not being able to be in the cinemas. How does it feel? It feels great. As you may know, I'm the founder of this festival from 2006. And the last two years we, would, we were virtual, but we didn't have all the joys of seeing people in the, in the flesh. And so I'm really happy that we're back live and it looks like we're going to have a great turnout tonight. I, I'm also one of the jurors, so if you like the films, you can pr praise me. If you don't like them, you can blame me. I like that. I like that. I, there was a question I wanted to, to find out in terms of how do we select, how do you select, rather, the opening night films? Because over the past few years, there have been some really awesome opening night films with Hero and the story of of Brian Lara and that's yeah. and now tonight we're going to talk about cheese so well we're always looking for that extra special film mm. the one that we know will really attract audiences we normally try to do ones that aren't subtitled or ones that are too dark mm -hmm. and dismal we try to do films that are uplifting and this film tonight is just that Thank you very much, Mr. Bruce Paddington. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us. Thank you very much. And we are joined now by sponsor, well, representative for the sponsor of NGC, Miss Lisa Burkett, joining us on the somewhat red carpet. Thank you very much for joining us. But more importantly, thank you for the support. It is, of course, the question, why is it important for our organizations like NGC to support these sorts of endeavors of telling our stories? Well, one of NGC's key pillars in terms of our CSR is preserving our identity, showing who we are, showing the world who we are, you know, teaching our children about who they are, where we come from, and our stories, we are storytellers, and our stories really represent that very well. So there is the, there's the book part of the storytelling, the literature part, and then there's the film. And you know, we're going into a very digital world, or we are in a digital world. So what better method or vehicle to tell our stories except through film? Now we have some incredible films being shown tonight and throughout the film festival. Any favorites? Well, I'm looking forward to Cheese tonight for sure because it's a fanta fantastic film and I've heard a lot about it. But I also intend to go to the Republic Day screenings uh, because there will be a lot of Trinidad and Tobago films and um, I'm looking forward to that. Now, the film festival also explores films that will be shown throughout the region or carry stories throughout the regions. Any of them that you've been able to see or trailers that have tweaked a little bit of interest in you? I've not been able to see, I must confess, but I, I am looking forward to the next five days tremendously. So you have a bumper week planned and we hope that it will incite more enthusiasm to continue to support these endeavors for the next and the next and the next. Definitely. Thank you so much for joining us, Ms. Bickett. Enjoy the shows and enjoy the night. We will continue to chat with persons who continue to make it possible for us to see ourselves. This is the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival 2022. Mr. Dewin Howell, good afternoon, well, good night, good night. How are you, how are you? Very well, thank you. It's good to be back here. It's, it's my first in-person opening night as chairman of Filmco. I've, I've done a couple online, and, and, and this beats online, I'll tell you that. I, I was telling someone earlier today that I'm a big fan of like streaming, but there is nothing that compares to actually being in person. And I want to talk to you a little bit about that, the idea of coming out after two years, now that the pandemic has eased a little bit, how do you feel being here, being in person and that kind of stuff? Well, I, I'm glad it says ease because a lot of people saying it's over and it really ain't over anyhow. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm happy to be here because I think it, we, we have to get back to normal and a part of getting back to normal is doing things like this. I mean, obviously, with, you know, caution, you know, I still wear my mask and so on. But at the end of the day, you know, I think we have to just get back into it. And as you rightly said, you know, streaming is one thing, but in person, you know, 
I, I can't eat popcorn home streaming, you know. So I mean, yeah, so so it's a different experience, a vibe, you know. So so we're really glad to to be able to welcome people back into the into the into the theater, you know, to watch a film as they would say. A film, <laughs> yeah. You have some sh- some shrimps and you eat some. Watch a film and you're good to go. And, and, and drink a cokes. <laughs> It's important to have the extra S and that kind of stuff in it. Let's be real. Yeah. One final thing. You, um, you straddle, you balance between two worlds. You are in uh, finance and you're also in the creative. So the traditional left and right brain kind of, kind of thing. How do, you balance, how do you balance that? How do you make that happen? Well, I, I'll tell you, it, I don't know, but it, it, it maintains sanity. You know, because, I mean, my, my, my work life could be stressful. And I, I enjoy the creative side of things. I enjoy Masoka, I enjoy music, jazz in particular. And um, I enjoy photography, you know. And so, so my, my sanctuary is, you know, expressing myself in, in, in a creative way to keep some sanity. Thank you, Mr. Howell. We appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. And enjoy the rest of Film Festival 2020. So I'm joined by my good friend, Lou Lyons, who I usually talk to when we have new releases. But tonight, he is wearing his yellow composer hat. You are in a different realm tonight simply because we know production and music is your thing, but a composer is a different distinguishment. Explain to me, Lehman, the difference between the two. So as a composer, I would have worked closely with the director of the film to come up with music specifically for emotional impact for each of the scenes. Now, that experience had to have been, well, not to mention detailed and tedious, but in your own words, what was that like? Absolutely expanding. I mean, we're talking about 13, 14, sometimes 16-hour days of just locking in in post-production. I learned a lot about film, composition, and it just gave me a new appreciation of music on a whole that I now take back to my musician performer capacity. So perhaps we'll have some long scores in productions now. Yes, ma'am. I think tonight, though, it creates or sets the stage for what is possible. We talk about seeing ourselves in the film festival, and this is us hearing ourselves as well, yes? Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. And I think this is a good opportunity to see what we can accomplish once we surrender to the process because we still have this idea of well how do we compete what if you take competition off the table and you just say well this is who we are as Trinbegonians and just let it all hang out just just do um, tonight we'll see what he will do as he is going to enjoy the rest of the night and of course you the viewers at home will get a chance to enjoy his works and so much more. This is the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival 2022. You do not want to go anywhere else. And we're back and I am here live with Miss Kathy Tyson. Hello, Hello Tracy. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing tonight? Yeah, it's amazing. I, I, I'm doing well, thank you. Can't wait to see the film. Me, me too. <laughs> uh, Kathy is the director and executive producer of the film Lillian. And I'm wanting to get a little bit more in terms of what is the story of Lillian and what is it about? Well, Tracy, I'm also the actor in it as well, one of the actors. Um, I play Lillian Barda, who was the first black woman in the RAF. Right. And this is part, this is a fictionalized account of, it's set in 1960, 15 years after the Second World War, and somebody comes knocking on Lillian's door, who is an old colleague from the RAF. And so Lillian wonders what's going on because they had some history. And within that, Lillian talks about um, her dissatisfaction at not being recognized as a black veteran or any black veterans during the Second World War. There's no pictures of them in books. And so she's campaigning to the head, the school, uh, sorry, the school, her son's head teacher to get acknowledgement and says, I'll withdraw him from the school if there isn't any acknowledgement of black, uh, black contribution in the Second World War. So she writes a letter to the school saying, I will withdraw my son. And that's 1960. So I was daring to do that then. The, the thing is, like, in terms of a story like that, 
it's very, it sounds very powerful. I am ready. I am waiting to go on the day of itself, and I will go and sit down and see it. But I also tomorrow. So after Liming Live, I will probably go down to Movie Town and go and see 5:30. it <laughs> in the afternoon. Yes. Five thirty in the afternoon, people Movie at Movie Town. Yeah. And I just wanted very quickly before I let you go, in terms of stories about representation and and um, diversity, that sort of thing. It might seem like an obvious question, but how important is that to, to, to put the stories out there for the rest of the world? That's baseline important, but also creative um, imagi imagination is important to me as well. Having a laugh is. I don't always want to do worthy things, but worthy is part of it because of the pride I have in our culture. Excuse me. <laughs> you know, I want to acknowledge and also educate myself because I haven't been educated by the state system. But also, so it's very, very, it's a, it's a given. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Miss Kathy Tyson, executive producer, director, and actor of the film Lillian. Thank you so much. <laughs> so usually, he would be one of the actors that would be nominated or featured at the very least, but tonight he said he's supporting. So Nikolai, Tell the people out there in TV land why it's important to support. I know it, you know it, but there's somebody still wondering what's all the fuss about. Well, um, I don't know. Good night, everyone. I, for me, it's like I feel like I keep watching the film festival over the years, and it just always amazes me how much growth it makes, like year to year, the incremental growth it makes. And for me, just, just it really requires us lending our support. To it. That's being here. You know, um, as part of the experience, to have more eyes viewing the films, you know, for us to get it out, right? Um, I think that's essential for it to go where it needs to go, you know? Now, speaking of getting eyes on films, have you watched any and uh, have any favorites? I haven't watched any yet. Like, literally tonight I was like, come out, see cheese, let's start there, and then let's see where else it goes, you know? Yeah. But in terms of categories, in terms of nominations, You've watched year after year, as you said, and they've grown. And we have a new category where not just in terms of the young filmmakers, but specifically in terms of digital content, there are some nominations and some focus there. Any thoughts or perspectives on that particularly? Um, no, I mean, I feel like it's, it, that's where it's going to go. Everything is becoming that anyway, you know. Um, so for me, uh, it makes sense for the film festival to start including things like that. You know, it's the only way for us to, I guess, grow further and further. You know, it's to embrace the changes that are happening and, you know. Well, we're going to embrace all the change that we will see on screen and off because after the film festival, you guys, we still are going to be celebrating Republic Day by watching an entire day of Trinidad and Tobago films. Of course, thanks to main sponsors and our friends at TTT. So for now, we are going to let you guys enjoy the festivities as well as you. Thank you very much for stopping by. Guys, the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival is on. I am joined now by the lovely Miss Dion McNichol Stevenson, Chairman of Film TT. Good evening. How are you feeling? Good evening. I'm great. Happy nice. It is. It's like I've been saying to everybody, it really is a good scene to actually be back out in person for a film festival. Yeah, it is. It is. I wanted to just very quickly ask you the importance of representation and more or less telling our Caribbean stories. I know that might seem like a relatively obvious question, but I still wanted to find out from you how you feel about like having our stories out there and the importance of it. What is your perspective? I think it's very important for us to tell our stories. We have a unique perspective. We are wonderfully multicultural in our composition and our journeys to getting here are so varied, you know? So we have a lot of rich stories to tell. And I like to say that if by Calypso all our stories are told, then in film, they're kept alive forever. So I think it's very important for us to capture our stories in film and share them with the world. One last thing before I let you go. What are you hoping and or expecting from the duration of the film festival? What are, what are you hoping to see out of it? I am hoping that this film festival, um, the first one in three years that would have been, the others would have been digital. So this is our first foray back out, we outside, right? And I'm hoping that it will um, rekindle that um, excitement about our local content and about film in, in, in general. 
you know, yeah. Well, thank you, thank you very much. We are going to continue moving on, but I really do appreciate you taking the time to talk with us. Thank you, have a good night. <laughs> Joining me now is Ms. Leslie Ann Wills, uh, well, no relation, I ain't come with Leslie Ann wills Keaton, but you are the film commissioner, and that means you must be proud that tonight we are showing up and showing out. Exactly. Um, thank you so much for having me. I'm very excited, of course. This is what we try to encourage the investors. Come to the film festival, come to the premiere. You get to meet people, you get to see good content, and you get to network. So this is a very exciting day for the film industry. Now, an exciting day means that we look forward to many more because the next five days we're going to have some incredible films screened. I have to ask, have you had a chance to see any of the trailers and have any favorites? Well, I, I, I wouldn't say I have a favorite, but I'm looking forward to seeing Cheese tonight. And of course, definitely I will be taking in several content. I have to do a couple of the panels. I'm going to talk about the production rebate that Film TT has. We're doing that on Friday. And so we have a film TT sponsoring a breakfast tomorrow as well. So we're very involved with the process. We're excited and definitely just here to support filmmakers. Well, your support is definitely appreciated. The next generation of filmmakers looking on. What's the message that you're sending to them tonight? That you should be inspired to know that you can create content. Pick up your phone. And once you have a story, you can tell it. And, and submit it. And, and I, I love that we have social media now. Use TikTok, use Instagram, use Facebook Reels. Use YouTube, get your story out there, because we want to see it. See yourself, the TTFF 2022 is on! <laughs> Literally the highlight of my evening. I am here with producer of Cheese, Alexa McConnell. I am literally, like today I was talking to somebody and I was telling them of a class that we were in and we were dissecting a film and somebody was like, no, you shouldn't really watch that film. You need to watch one of his. And we ended up watching, I think it was Fire Queen. And that was my introduction to like the world of Damien McConnell. So, this is like it's, it's amazing. So I wanted to ask you perhaps the most obvious question that you're going to be asked tonight. How do you feel? How does your team feel opening the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival 2022? Um, well, you know, everyone's excited. Um, I think it's next year will be 10 years since we premiered his first film, God Loves a Fighter. So to bring it full circle where we're opening the film festival before the 10 years, great. Um, so it's just it's just general excitement. We want we want home the home town to take it in, home country to take it in. So it's nice to bring it home. I wanted I wanted to find out from you what is next. I mean, yes, we're we're here for this, but what is next for you guys? Is it a vacation? Is it a rest? Is it the next project? We find ways to rest. <laughs> um, but in terms of work, um, he's getting ready to direct Bass Reeves um, with Paramount. Um, as far as lo as far as what we do creatively for the islands in the Caribbean, definitely wanting to finish a trilogy of cheese and some other things I can't talk about just yet. That is fine, and I am one thousand percent down for a trilogy of cheese. I am I am literally here for it. And to sort of round everything off, just to find out, aspiring filmmakers, aspiring producers, that sort of field, what w advice? One little tidbit would you give to anybody who wants to delve into film, whether they are younger or older? Um, it's the advice I give to everyone, which is, and it sounds simple, but it's hard to do, which is be you. And that means unapologetically you, despite what that might mean for your family may not liking who you are, or your friends not liking who you are, but that's what the sauce is. That's the secret sauce. Thank you for having a moment with us. Thank you for having a moment with me. I'm going to be like, oh my God. So <laughs> thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Alexa Meccano from the film, the film that is opening the festival tonight, Cheese. Thank you very, very much. And joining me now is the television programming manager for TTT, a very big part of why Film Co. and the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival continues to be on our screens, at least locally. Diane, good night and welcome.
Thank you, Ayinka. So happy to be here to see all the buzzing around, to see local films in Trinidad and Tobago. The enthusiasm is amazing, and I hope it keeps it going, but TTT plays a big part in why that is. Isn't that true? Oh, yes, we play a big part. So we're, tonight we're going to watch um, the premiere in Trinidad of Cheese on the big screen. But TTT plays a very pivotal role in making sure that local filmmakers have somewhere a platform to screen their films on the small screen. And that is a big part of why we are considered the Live for Local station. It is, it's, part, it's very important to us that filmmakers have a place to come to to showcase their content locally and at large internationally through our platforms that we partner with, Tago in the Caribbean and Tuba in Canada. Now, a little bit, you told me those partnerships may expand beyond other continents. Anything you'd like to share with us? Oh, sure, sure. I just came back from a trip to Nigeria. Very fruitful trip. I was part of a delegation that included the general manager of the film company of Trinidad Tobago, Film TT, and the general manager of C15, as well as the co-founder of Lanya Productions. And out of that, we did a lot of networking and started to build foundations and relationships with individuals who are going to help the film industry in Trinidad and Tobago. And maybe we get on that boosting platform, you know, to, like how Nolly, what is a big deal now? There are Netflix, you know, and so in, in, with those partnerships, we're going to be able to as well partner with them and create content that's global. I love the sound of it because it's all about making sure that we see ourselves on those screens. So, Diane, thank you very much for joining us. So, they're getting ready to roll up that red carpet as we get ready to go in and take in that premiere of Cheese, one that everybody wants to watch tonight. I am legitimately very excited. Same. I have been following some of Damien's um, short pieces right. online and that kind of stuff, and I am ready. I am ready. This is the highlight of my night, actually getting to talk to the producer, Mrs. McConnell. Right. So that was my whole, yeah. Night made. That, that, that right there was like, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> But of course, this is just the start. A yes. grand start for things that are greater to come. The film festival is on and you can watch Cheese and so much more. Thanks to, of course, the partnership with the likes of TTT and others to make sure this happens. Yeah, exactly. So, of course, NGC, TTT and all. The other Shell sponsors and, yeah, mm -hmm. made this incredible night possible. And of course, it's running from the 22nd to the 28th. That's right. There are so many like workshops and master classes and stuff going Listen, on alongside as well. It's incredible. You're not just watching, but you're going to be able to create as well. Exactly. And it's all because we want to see ourselves. Yes, see yourselves and see yourself lives, which, by the way, 12 to 12 30 right. every day on uh, the film festival's IG. Right. You can find me there for Lime and Live. Meanwhile, Selfish you'll love. find me inside taking in the shows, guys. We're heading out. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>Sixty in sixty, the road to sixty years of independence. We present the better half.